Hello, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus, and this will be for the 21st to the 27th of June, 2021. If you've just seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. <coughs> Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Just know it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time can also be fluid. <coughs> Energy can be vice versa, so take as resonates. Um, for this reading, I'm using tarot and maybe a couple of oracle at the end. Um, and also, please excuse my cough. Still coughing after six weeks. Still trying to find out why. I don't have what's going on in the world. Um, been tested, so that came back negative, which is good. But yeah, just got to get over this cough. All right, let's move on. Taurus, what's going on with you? 21st to the 27th of June. the deck is the king of wands it's about someone who's very motivational inspiring could be fiery passionate very romantic um, they might also be ambitious it's all about taking a leadership role um, stepping into the spotlight pub doing some public speaking um, keeping your eyes on the big picture communicate your vision if you need and don't be sensitive to criticism now somebody may come in and communicate with you um what's the card king of pentacles i thought it was a king and i couldn't remember so <coughs> anyway um so you've got king of wands and you've also got yeah the communicate card could also mean about fast paced changes maybe there's some travel um it can also mean um manifesting quickly what you want Okay, so the ones on the on the table, you've got the Justice card in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Got a lot of re reverse cards going on. Um, okay, let's start. So justice in reverse. This is about dishonesty. It's about somebody who doesn't take accountability for their actions. Something's very unfair. So maybe you find out about this. The obstacles and challenges are now over because you find out about this. And maybe you, you, you cut it. You say, I'm making a final decision. The truth has come out. I know what you did. See you later, you P.O.S. Could mean that. You're letting something go. Okay, tell me more. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, but you are currently, I mean, previously and maybe still, you keep everything inside. You repress your emotions. You don't like to sort of cause conflict, so you keep everything inside. Um, you need to release that, otherwise it just builds and builds and builds and eventually you go Psh! like a volcano and explode and go off at people. So um, keep the faith as well. So you've got the star card, so it's telling you to keep the faith. Trust your intuition, keep the faith. Miracles can happen with the star, like wish upon a star, you know. Um, I feel like somebody left you out in the cold and now you're playing a bit of a victim um, as well. So then we have, as I said, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So that would be more about you focusing on your self-worth. You could have been being hustled in a situation. Um, you've also got the Page of Cups in reverse, as I said. So you're doubting your intuition. Somebody could have been selfish. But with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is about you moving on. You're having some self-forgiveness and you're moving on. And you're having a fresh start. Focusing on your career. But maybe a blossoming new love, but it's a fresh start of some kind. Yeah. You realise you want a firm foundation. You, The truth is going to come out. There you are with the sun card, which is the best card in the deck. 
But at the moment, you're not really making a positive movement forward, but also I feel like you're too focused on one area of your life or um, I just feel like you haven't been making this positive movement forward. You're kind of hanging on to something you know you should get rid of. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's the Sun card. So things are going to... Things are going to be great and you're going to have a fresh start because you put a stop to something um, that, you know, wasn't giving you what you wanted. Um, with the Four of Wands also, I feel like you're going to end up having a new relationship. You've possibly got some conflict going on. Um, someone could have been juggling people and also you've got the Page of Swords as well. So somebody may try to come and communicate with you. Or maybe someone new is going to come in and communicate with you or someone maybe tells you what you didn't know. I find that that could be the case as well. Maybe there's something that you didn't know about this person and someone comes in and says, did you know that so-and-so is doing so-and-so, you know, or doing this or that, or maybe you didn't know before. And you've also got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Four of Wands is in reverse, um, as I said. So this could be a new relationship. It can also be um, some inner harmony, maybe a transition. So it's all about new relationships and obviously Ten of Cups is about a happy marriage, happily ever after, a loving relationship with your children, um, people you can trust. So maybe this is part of the new start, the new ace. You put an ending to something and doing some work on you, but I feel like you put an end to something. Yeah, maybe this was a spiritual lesson for you. more <laughs> I mean you've got the ace of wands which was in reverse so something was probably a missed opportunity or a distraction you've got the ace of cups which comes after the hermit card so you're probably going to take some time do some soul searching do some introspection and you're going to have a fresh start new relationship possibly as well um, I feel like you need to stand your ground um, with the Seven of Wands, I feel like you need to persevere, protect your heart, protect yourself. If you're feeling defensive, stand your ground. Work on manifesting what you want or what you don't want. At the moment, I feel like you are hesitant to open your heart, but I feel like whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get back. So be careful. This can mean manipulation. It can also mean um, that you're not manifesting what you want. And the Two of Cups is some sort of breakup. So you are going to have some sort of breakup. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse as well. Learn from your failures. Something didn't work. You're not really making any progress, I said at the moment, but focus on that. Um, okay. Six of Wands. I feel like you are going to be successful and victorious, but you've got to have some self-confidence. Now is the right time for that as well with the Temperance card. But it's all about you. This situation was not fulfilling you. You're bored. Um... You know, do some meditation, and here you are with the Ace of Pentacles again, a new fresh start. Same card. So you are going to have some new start. Glad you can't see my table, it's messy. Okay, tell me about Taurus. There's not enough an attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Maybe that was in the past. You had to, or you needed to free yourself. Lack of chemistry, as I said. But something is going to come worth waiting for. You need to release your ex. Everything that the readings already said. much it's about endings bring new beginnings that's pretty much what this reading is yeah so somebody's probably walk, watching stalking gaslighting could be you could be them maybe take your glasses off and you're being stabbed in the back by heartbreak pain separation deception there was some sort of heartbreak and pain um and i feel like but you haven't moved on because you're heartbroken you feel like you're not enough but you are 
yeah, you haven't really been um, having much of abundance. You haven't had been putting yourself out there. You're not really even loving yourself right now. Freaking light makes it hard to see. Yeah, focus on your self-love. You're overplaying over and over things in your head that have gone on. You need to put up boundaries. There was no stability or security. There was no permanence in this situation. Focus on your self-worth. You need to heal your heart. You're not. Uh, you're possibly in separation or maybe not even in any kind of communication with this person right now. You're not wanting to move on. It's the same stuff over and over and over. You're not wanting to let something go, but you are. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, and I will catch you with the next stream. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.